What's up guys, Jason here, digital marketing consultant, and today you're gonna learn exactly how to add the Facebook pixel to your Shopify e-commerce store, whether you're using the basic version or the plus version, and at the end, I'm gonna show you how to create advanced remarketing lists based upon pages your customers have visited and actions they've taken on your website, so you can get very, very specific and targeted with your remarketing ads to the point where you can retarget and create ads based upon specific pages your visitors have seen on your site. So with that, let's go ahead, dive into my screen, and then walk you through the process right now. So we're gonna kick things off in the Facebook Ads Manager. We're gonna go up here to your menu and go ahead and click on Pixels. If you've already set up your Pixel in the past, your screen is gonna go look something like this. If you haven't, there will be a giant green button saying set up your Pixel. So if you've already set up your Pixel in the past, all you have to do is go ahead and copy this blurred out number right here and you're good to go. If you haven't, when you click that little green button that says set up pixel, you're gonna be given a pop-up box that looks like this, and you're just gonna go ahead and click to manually install the code yourself, and here you will be able to turn on your pixel. So you'll just scroll down here and click continue. You don't really need to email instructions at all, and you can skip this as well and go ahead and click done, and then Facebook will generate that pixel code and you'll come up here and copy it. So once you have your pixel code, it's actually really, really simple simple and straightforward. You're gonna to go to your Shopify dashboard. And for the purposes of this tutorial, I'm using the basic you know, Shopify level since that's what most people are using. And you're gonna go ahead, go ahead and click on your online store. And then we're gonna to go to preferences at the bottom. Once here, we'll scroll down and there's actually a place for your Facebook pixel. You'll go ahead and paste that in there and then click save. And if your site is not published yet, you're not actually gonna be able to check to make sure your pixel is really working and firing correctly. But once your site is live, you'll go ahead and use something called the Facebook Pixel Helper. I'll link to it in the description in from the Google Chrome store. And essentially this will let you know if the pixel is firing correctly. So this is just a quick example from a different website. This is what it will look like. You'll want to see page view and micro data firing. And if you see this on your Shopify site, know the Facebook pixel is working. And so once the idea is in here for the basic account, that's all you need to do. Now, if you're at a higher tier, you'll actually be able to install Google Tag Manager and you'll be able to do some fun dynamic remarketing and all that fun stuff. But here we're just doing the basics of how to get the pixel on your website. And so once you have it on your e-commerce store with Shopify at the most basic level here, you have enough to begin to do remarketing. So we're going to go back to Facebook and I'm going to show you how to start setting up some of your remarketing audiences without the advanced functionality of Google Tag Manager and the higher levels of Shopify. So in Facebook Ads Manager, once you have the pixel installed, you use that pixel helper that I talked about and your site is published, you can go ahead and create custom audience. And what's really, really powerful about this is that you're going to be able to start to create audiences inside of Facebook based upon specific pages people have, have visited. So for example, like let's say you have three different products, like we're gonna have bracelets, we're gonna have watches, and then we're gonna have rings. Well, using the features here, you can tell Facebook that you want to begin to collect different people in different audiences based upon the type of products that they've seen. So if someone from your sites went to your site and clicked on watches, you wanna show them a different ad than the people who looked at rings or looked at bracelets. And so the easiest way to do this is to use URL and then contains. So if you're using product categories, you might do your domain, you can do product slash watch slash and then that'll be it, right? So if you want to retarget all the people who looked at a watch page, you, you just type in here product slash watch slash product slash watch, and then that's all you need to do. So essentially every time someone visits a page, you know, your website, dot com slash product slash watch and then probably the watch name would go here but you don't need to type the watch product name because you want to collect everyone into a specific audience who viewed the product pages or the watch pages now what's really really nice about this is you can actually target people who visited your checkout page or your flagship products so for example if i wanted to target people who just saw a specific very specific watch you know if it's product slash watch slash sleek black men's watch or whatever i wind up calling that particular watch. Well, now when you create a custom audience here, you can remarket or retarget people who have specifically been on that page and not purchased. So what I want to point out before we end this tutorial is the fact that you can actually exclude. So if 
someone has seen a watch page, but then maybe they saw a confirmation page or they visited your shopping cart, well, you don't wanna pay to market to them. So we can come over here and tell them to exclude people who have visited you know, specific pages. So if they've gone to a confirmation page, a checkout page, or a shopping cart page, you might wanna be showing them a different ads, or if someone's gone to a conf confirmation page, that means they purchased. So you don't wanna pay to show them an ad for something that they just bought. And so this is really all you need to do to get really, really targeted and really, really focused with your Facebook Facebook ads. And this is so, so important in ensuring that you don't waste your valuable ad dollars advertising to people who are not in the market for what you're selling. Thank you for watching. I hope you found this video informative and actionable. If you got some value out of it, go ahead and hit that like button and then subscribe because over on my channel, I'm documenting the entire process of setting up Facebook ads for your Shopify e-commerce store. So if you have a Shopify store, you're looking to build a Shopify store and you want to know how to drive traffic to it and properly remarket to people who've shown up, then this is the place for you. I encourage you to subscribe and check out the link in the description to a full playlist for Facebook marketing for e-commerce and Shopify stores. So until the next video, keep building the business you love. Take care.